Let's buy in three equivalent fractions for four sixteenths. Here's how we'll do it. We want to find other fractions that are equal to four divided by 16. They have the same decimal value. It's just that their numerator and denominator are going to be different. With four sixteenths, I think we can simplify this because four goes into 16 four times, goes into four one. So we could just call this four divided by four is one. 16 divided by four is four, one fourth. So the fraction four sixteenths, an equivalent fraction would be one fourth. And if you divided four by 16 or one by four, you'd get the same thing, 0 0.25, because they're equivalent fractions. Let's do another one. So instead of dividing, we could multiply. We could multiply four sixteenths by one, that would just give us four sixteenths. Let's multiply it by two over two. Two divided by two, that's just one. We're not changing anything, but now, four times two, that gives us eight. 16 times two is 32. So another equivalent fraction for four over 16 is eight over 32. Divide eight by 32, you get 0 0.25. Again, it's equivalent. One last one. So here we used seven over seven, and seven divided by seven is one. So we end up with 28 hundred another equivalent fraction for four sixteenths. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.